go straight to the teachings of the day. And before that, I would like us to just to pray even as we start off in Jesus' mighty name. Let us bow. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, here again we come before you, Lord, with humility, even as we bless and glorify your name. We want to thank you because of this opportunity that you have given us as your saints, O God, that we may gather in this particular place even to, hear, to listen to your word. That the Bible says that through listening to it again and again, our faith shall be lifted, O God. How we pray that the same thing may be accomplished in our lives tonight in the name of the Lord, even as we listen to your word. May you help us even to put them into practice for the glory and honor of your name. We want to thank you because of those people who are still on the way coming, God. May you be with, together with them, your master. May you minister to them even as you minister to us. Those people who are watching from online, your King of glory, may you minister to them as well in the name of the Lord. We bless you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. To pick up on a summer coffee. I'm called Brother Peter Utieno, and I love the Lord as my personal savior. And I'm very much happy even to still confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It is always not a, a usual thing to find yourself uh, still professing uh, the salvation of God. Uh, it normally takes the grace of the Lord that we may come far. Praise the name of the Lord. So God will also bless you even for choosing even to be in his house. So uh, without much ado, I just want us straight to go straight to the word of God in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 25. Matthew 25. That's where we are going to get our teachings of the day. It is about the parable of the ten virgins. I know we have read the scripture over and over again. But I trust in the Lord that tonight we are just going to get an, another revelation on the same. Through his own grace. Praise the name of the Lord. This is what the Bible says. We are going to read through. Uh, up to the let's say verse 13 there this is what the Bible says then the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom now five of them were wise and five were foolish those who were foolish took their lamps and, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at, the mid, at midnight, a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, let, lest there should be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But, the, but he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. 
Watch therefore, for you not for you know neither the day nor the hour which the Son of Man is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the scripture I want us to share tonight by the grace of the Lord that we may be able to learn through his, his power. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. The Bible speaks of the ten virgins uh, where they are separated as the, the, we have the, the five we were, which were foolish and another five which were wise. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible has narrated clearly that the five which were wise uh, because of what they knew was lying before them, they took some oil extra with them when they were going to wait for the bridegroom. But the rest of the five never took any extra oil. Praise the name of the Lord. This is where the distinction is going to, uh, to come when we are going to learn this, why the, rest, the, the others were not uh, having the, the extra oil and the rest were having the, ex, the extra oil. Praise the name of the Lord. So here we are going, the, the most important thing here we are seeing here is the light. Praise the name of the Lord. The light which they were supposed to use when they were waiting, going to wait on the Lord. Amen. So this particular time they were going to wait for the bridegroom in the night when there is darkness uh, and the only thing that they, are, they could have put them or helped them even to wait on the, on the, uh, for the bridegroom is when they were in light. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati unapokuwa kwa giza, ningumu sana kuendelea na kungojea. Ndiposa au waliazimia ama waliambiwa ya kwamba wakachukue mata zao, waende inje wakangoje. Uh, the bridegroom, praise the mighty name of the Lord. So, atuwezi ngojia mtu, ama wewe mwenyewe, uwezi, ukawezi, uwezi ngojia mtu, maali penye kunagiza. Especially, even when the visitor wants to, is coming, na uko kwa giza, utapata kwamba, you will not be able to wait for this particular person when you are in darkness. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is when now the light comes in. That the light is very much important in one's life. Praise the name of the Lord. Light is very much important in your life. And light is very much important in my life. Just at light, as light is very much important when you are doing your daily activities where maybe in the night you cannot do anything when there is no light. Amen. When it is approaching the, in the evening, the, the, the night is, is coming in, people rush. Uh, some, uh, when you are back in Ushagu, unapata kumba kuna wengine wanakimbia, uh, wana, wanaanza kukumbuka. Na tukuna mafuta ya, kutos, ya kutosha, yenye inaza tusaidia, tuone, ama tuweke katika uh, lamp zetu za, zenye, uh, diyo tuweze kuona usiku. Amen. Na kama ina, uku, tuko hapa jijini, Watu wanaanza kujiuliza kama kuna token ya kutosha ili tuweze kuona kuwama unapoenda kuwakisha ata stima uweze kuona. Na kama kuna token unasikia kwamba ebu tu tujazie token. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kama kuna mafuta utasikia kwamba ebu kimbia kama giza aijafika ili ukaweze kuleta mafuta. Praise the name of the Lord. What is the aim or the main reason for bringing all these tokens, uh, electricity tokens or the, the oil in this particular case? The main aim of these particular people is to produce light. Amen. That they may be able to do their things smoothly. That they may be able to walk in the, in the house smoothly. That they may be able to do their work, their house course. They are plants in the house smoothly without any interruptions. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. This is the reason, particular reason, the sole reason for a, a purchasing the oil at that particular time. Amen. So these uh, young ladies were told that the bridegroom is, uh, is coming. Now, they had to prepare themselves, being, the, being that the bridegroom was to come in the night. When you are not able to see, 
when you are not able to do anything you are not able to see some afar amen so they had to look for something that is going to give them the light so that they may be able to uh, to see well praise the name of the lord so there are benefits of light tunapata kwamba unapokuwa na 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 mwanga katika nyumba mwanga mara mingi unapata kwamba they normally or it normally scares the enemy mali penye kuna eh, mwangaza ama kuna lamp unapata kwamba adui ni ngumu sana adui kukuja katika mali penye mwangaza iko na wale wenye wametoka ushago unapata kwamba like kama sisi eh, sasa wakati wanyama wanapotusumbua kwa shamba unapata kwamba tunaambiwa ya kwamba ukifika pale akisha moto amen unaakisha moto huo ili ulinde hiyo shamba ikifika kuna kuna time yenye ikifika huwa tunasema kwamba sasa wanyama wamerudi kulala hawawezi kuja wakavamia shamba amen why is it tunaambiwa ya kwamba tu tuakishe taa kwa sababu wanapoona taa kutoka pale kwa umbali they will be not be able to reach where the light is because there is the, they believe that there are people there there is life there and they don't want to go where there is human being amen in other words the light, the benefit one of the benefits of light here it acts as a uh, enemy a scarecrow it scares the enemy away praise the name of the lord the light we have scares the enemy away and the light is very much important here because we see even god uh, creating the light even in the in the second day of creation when he had already created heavens and earth the boss is that and he said that the next day that let there be light amen so that every other thing that was created after that was created out of light praise the name of the lord every other thing that was created after the second day was done with light so god uh, valued light so much that he brought it in the second day amen that's because nobody can operate without light praise the name of the lord amen so let light help us here even to in doing our daily course i was really seeing they said that it helps us actually even when we want to see things around the light is very much important for for us amen so wakati hawa wasichana walipokuwa wameambiwa kwamba wabebe mafuta ya taa zao then the main aim of these people was like they were to have the light adequately ili waweze kupata yale yenye wanapokuwa wanapaswa kupata praise the mighty name of the lord so i want us to bring this one into our own lives amen that the light that or the lamp that we are talking about here is our life amen the light the lamp is your life so that whatever we put in our life is what is going to produce the light amen So we are going to see the type of oils that when we put in our lives is going to produce the light. Amen. So the type of light that we normally produce depends on the type of oil that we produce. Praise the name of the Lord or that we put in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. So unapata kwamba eh in the like in the artificial uh, lanterns or or or, or uh, lamps unapata kwamba eh, lazima tuweke oil ili tukaweze kuhakikisha na kuona amen so tusipoweka hiyo oil there is a possibility that eh, eh, atutaweza kuona ama tutafaweza kufanya mambo zetu amen so lamp here is our la- in our is our life so which type of lights are we supposed to put in our lives in our lamps which in this case is our lives so that we may be able to produce the right things in life praise the name of the lord amen lazima tujue ya kwamba ni 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 aina gani ya mafuta tunajaza katika maisha yetu wengi wamejaza mafuta zenye azisaidii katika maisha 
umejaza mafuta yenye imefanya hata 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 light eh, the lamp the lamp inaitwa taa taa haiwezi haiwezi waka vizuri ama ikiwaka inawaka ikiwa inatoa moshi yenye hata aisaidi katika maisha amen ama ikiwaka inawaka so dim kiasi kwamba hata haiwezi saidia mtu praise the name of the lord wengi wanawe, wameweka mafuta yenye, yenye imejazwa ama imechanganywa ime, ime na maji yenye ata ukiweka unahakisha I, I, i remember there are days that we used to do that eh, tunaenda kununua mafuta unapata kwa mafuta imechanganyika na maji ama eh, paraffin imechanganyikana na na diesel so inaonaka, inaonekana tu dim eh, mpaka hata sisi ama yule mwenye natumia hiyo light afurahi amen so ndio sasa uweze kuona vizuri lazima usonge karibu kabisa na hiyo kitu yenye unatafuta lakini uwezi weka pale ioneshe kila mahali in other words this person or this particular lamp has no pure oil that helps in seeing praise the mighty name of the lord amen so i want us to check how what are the things what are the like, types of oils that we put in our lives which helps us to produce the right uh, lights praise the name of the lord mwangaza lazima tutoe na tunatoa kupitia oil yenye tunaweka katika maisha yetu wetu wameweka vitu ama ama, ama mafuta yenye inatoa chuki unapata kwamba umejaa and the light that you produce only produces the light of hatred you know Amen. You put a particular oil in your life or in your lamp that when you light it the only thing that people will see is hatred. Praise the name of the Lord. The only thing that will this oil will produce the light which people will see in you is hatred. In other words, it is not even benefiting into the kingdom. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. Watu wameweka mafuta tofauti tofauti katika maisha. Maisha yako we umeweka mafuta gani? Na hiyo mafuta inatoa ile mwanga yenye inapaswa kutoa. Hiyo mafuta yenye umeweka inatoa mwangaza vizuri yenye watu wote wenye wanaweza ona ama wakiona hiyo mwangaza inawasaidia, ni mwangaza inasaidia katika maisha. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. So one of the types uh, of oil here that produces light uh, is the oil of patience. The oil that produces the light of patience as number one. The oil that produces the light of patience. Even as we continue waiting on God uh, on earth here even to the coming of the day of the Lord then you are we are not able to wait on god when we lack patience chenye ilisaidia wale wanawale ni walikuwa na subira wakawa na oil yenye wamewasaidia kukuwa na subira amen na utaniambia uta, utakubaliana na mimi ya kwamba hauwezi subiri mtu mahali penye kuna giza praise the name of the lord Uwezi subiri mtu mahali penye hakuna mwangaza utasikia mtu asemwe kwamba akisheni taa ili tukaweze kuendelea na kukaa amen na any time that the light goes off then everybody will be thinking of going to sleep amen and that's the reason why unapata kwamba when the lamps of the the ten virgins all of them went off then they they fell asleep Amen. They fell drowsy and they slept off. Praise the name of the Lord. So one thing we must one of the oil that we must always learn to put in our lamps which is light in this case in, in life in this case is the oil of patience. A lot of people have no patience in life. A lot of people are not able to wait. Umengojia kitu ama there's something that you've been waiting on God to do for you. Unmengojia eh, one month, one year, two years, you start giving up. You starting you start thinking like God is not seeing me. Ama unapoangalia jirani yako unaona majirani 
wao wanaendelea tu na kusucceed ama kupata what they are looking for lakini mimi kwangu mimi sioni amen na unapokosa the oil that produces this kind of patience light of patience then unapata kwamba utaanza kuingia kwa mambo zenye azifai ili wewe pia upate zile vitu zenye wengine wanapata haraka haraka na through that utapata kwamba you will find yourself messed up amen because ulikuwa unataka vitu kwa haraka amen hauna subira hauna au kuwa umetumia au kuweka ndani yako ama katika maisha yako mafuta ya subira amen lazima uhakishe kwamba wewe katika maisha yako uko na mafuta ya subira wewe umepanda shamba umepanda mbegu uko na mafuta ya subira ama unataka tu kupanda mbegu kesho unataka ishamea ushavuna amen lazima uhakishe kwamba uko na mafuta ya subira hasa unapoenda kupanda mbegu katika maisha praise the mighty name of the lord amen kwa sababu usipo usipokuwa na hiyo mafuta ya yenye inatoa mwanga ya subira then utapata kwamba unaweza hiyo ile mbegu yako haizifanya kazi and i remember the days when we were still young eh, i remember one of my uncle came with the eh, eh, coco i mean eh, ground nut sasa akatupatia na nikajua ya kwamba huwa inapandwa praise the name of the lord so nikaamua niende nikaipande ndio ndio nipate zikuwe mingi praise the lord so nilipokuwa nimeenda kupanda ilikuwa around saa nane hivi we were still young na nimeona mvua imenyesha nimeenda kupanda around saa nane amen lakini azikupewa mingi naona hizi zenye niko nazo pia ni kidogo actually wewe ni mtoto nishakula zote actually zimeisha So akili yangu ime, imerudi tu zile zile zilikuwa nimeweka pale kwa mchanga. So nafanya kazi zangu hapa lakini akili iko wapi? Pale. Nakumbuka na zile vitu zitamea sangapi ili nikaweza nivune, nyende nivune, nizikule ni because I want to just eat them. Praise the name of the Lord. So every other time, every other, 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 other some moments I used to go ninatoa nina ninaziangalia. Na jabu ni ya kwamba nikaze paswa paswa ndio zikue mingi ndio nikapanda kumbe azifanyi namna hiyo so nikawa nika, ninaenda kuziangalia kama zime zimemea napata zijamea narudi tena narudi te, napata azijamea so nilipokuwa nimegundua hizi hizi vitu azimei nikaanza tena kuzirudia kuzichukua naenda kuangalia mara moja nikipata kama ijamea nachukua ya shimo moja na kula na rudi. Nikirudi tena nipate zile zingine zenye niliwacha pale ya zijamea tena nachukua moja tena na kula until I ate everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I lacked patience. Also happened when I tulikuwa nilikuwa nimepanda miwa waje huko miwa kwetu wale wanyatoka kupanda ya twist unajua vile inafanywa. So inakatwa katwa tunaingiza ndani ya mchanga. So I was I, wa, I wanted Uh, to have a, a sugar cane plantation uh, i was still young so every other time that i, I went ninapata kwamba azijamea na puta moja na kula i chewed one nikienda then the next next week nikienda nikapata sasa na, na, natafuta zile mzuri mzuri so by the time uh, zinamea tunapata kwamba mali penye nilikuwa nimepanda hata kama ilikuwa kidogo hivyo ilikuwa imeisha i lacked that oil in my life that produces the light of patience praise the name of the lord and that's what everybody is supposed to yearn for yearn for the light the right light which will produce the light of patience the right oil that will produce the light of patience amen in life Watu wa wananga subira unapata kwamba unafanya mambo zako hapo umeanza biashara eh, unaona ni kama ina IP karaka vile inapaswa kupi kulingana na vile unataka but god has his own ways of, of doing things praise the name of the lord god has his own ways of prospering his people and that's the bible the reason the bible says that he has a good plans for us amen D- despite the fact that sasgine wa inakavia ina 
it is always for our own good. God knows why the thing that you've been waiting for is delaying. Amen. God knows why the things that we are waiting for in life is, are still delaying. They are not coming faster. Because he wants to use them to benefit you. Amen. He wants to use those things to benefit you. Because anajua kwamba, easy zikikuja sai, then zitafanya maisha yetu iangamie. Praise the name of the Lord. So lazima tujifunze kukua na subira katika maisha. Na pali unapata kwamba, everything that we, we want, we will get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. The next oil that we have is the oil that produces the light of evangelism. Praise the name of the Lord. The light of evangelism. Let's read in the book of uh, Matthew 5. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 14. This is what the Bible says. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Amen. So whenever people see this particular light in you, they will always tend to be attracted because of the light. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus said that I am the light of the world. Amen. In other words, whenever us, those people believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to do something, then when we do them through, the, through Jesus Christ, then we, will, we are not able to mess because we will be seeing everything. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must learn on how to get the oil that produces the light of evangelism because saile yote unapokuwa na light yako umeweka juu ya mnara. Watu wale wenye walikuwa kwa giza pale wataanza kukuja. Wataanza kukua katiri karibu na mungu. Wataanza kukuja karibu na mungu. Wataanza, wataanza kupendo, kupendezwa na maisha yetu. Na through that, watakuwa wamefika katika ufalme. Amen. It means that uta, utakuwa umevangelize. Amen. Utakuwa umefanya evangelism. Ata kama aujaenda one on one mnokambia ya mtu ya kwamba, please, eh, I am inviting you to the house of the Lord, or uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. The Bible says that when they will see our good deeds, in other words, when they will see the, our, the light that produces the good deeds, then they will just come and follow, follow us. Amen. And that's the reason a lot of people who had ever come into the house of the Lord are the people who followed, people who well, had the light, of evangelism. Wale wenye walikuwa anataka an, anataka tu kufuata wewe unaendaga kanisa wapi? Because kwa sababu kulingana vile anaona unafanya mambo zako you are doing your things in the light. So akat, wanatamani kukua kukua pamoja na wewe. Amen. Na hii inafanya kwamba watu wengi wanakuja katika ufalme wa Bwana. Amen. So, kama tutaweza ama tunataka watu wakuje katika ufalme wa mungu. Ama watu wakuje katika nyumba la buwana. Lazima tuwakishe kwamba tukona mafuta ya nayofa. Hallelujah. Tulazima tujaze maisha yetu na mafuta ya evangelism. Mafuta yenye inatoa taa. Yenye watu wakiona wana, wanakuja katika ufalme Wabwana. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To pick up on Jesus Makofi. Many people are really struggling outside there. They are only, they just want to see the light. Amen. They just want to see where they can walk. They just want to see where they can step on. 
They want to just want to see the right way. But how are they going to see the right way if ourselves we have no the right oil with us? Amen. We must have the right oil with us. Because, uh, because uh, light is what is attracting uh, people into the kingdom of God. Light, nothing else. When they, has, they have seen light, and that's the reason why actually in the book of John, uh, 1 John, I believe so, uh, the Bible speaks of that when, when, uh, when women want to change their husbands, they cannot change their husbands through other, way, other ways other than through their characters. So that when their husbands see the way they behave, then they will always tend to follow them. Because they have been changed through the character. That light, the kind of light that they have, they will, pr will produce uh, the light of evangelism, they will bring their husbands to the house of the Lord through this particular light of evangelism. Amen. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. We are going fast. Let us say also, we are also going to learn about the light that produces the light of love. The oil that produces the light of love. Amen. Uh, Tunaposoma pale 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 katika eh, kitabu cha Matthew Mathayo pia tunapata kwamba wakati unapo uwezi, uwezi ukamulikia mtu ma, maali kama we hujampenda amen hawezi siwezi nikakumulikia njia kama si sikupendi eh, those people are so selfish unapata kwamba hata tunapotembea pale wewe ndio uko na torch Na mnaruka kwa, kwa matope. We ukisha pita na touch, we unaenda tu. Ujui uyu mungine mwenye anakufuata, amekanyaga, mpaka kupigie nduri kwa ba, e, eh, ebu mulika hapa, lakini, wewe ndi ukona touch. Praise the name of the Lord. It means that there is no love inside you. There is no love inside me, if that something is happening. So, I must have loved this person Ndiyo, anapo nifuata, ninasimama hapa lafu, ninamulikia kwamba, umepata mali pa kunyaga, ebu kanyaga hapa, namulikia. E, Rudi, kanyaga hapa, tunamulikia. That is love. So the oil that we also need to put inside our life is the, light, is the oil that produces the light of love. So unapo mulikia, iyo inalitua the light of love. Yana naona unampenda, unamwambia kanyaga hapa. Otherwise, wengi wametembea wewe kuja kwa wokovu kama unataka, kama utaki, kila mtu na maisha yake. Amen. Lakini wanapoangalia, unapojua kwamba this when you love these people, you will always stand to light for them the, the way. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengi wanasema huwa wana, wanajifariji wanasema kwamba ye maisha yake ni maisha yake. Amen. Na whatever he does is only for himself. He does not do anything ama aki, fanya kitu akijali watu wengine. Ana, anafanya tu kwamba maisha yake ni maisha yake tu. Amen. So wewe upotele mbali. Jesus said that um, every food is good to be eaten or for eaten. But if you find yourself eating food or something that can cause your neighbor or friend to stumble, then it is better you stop eating it. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, he speaks of love. If at all you love this particular person, and you know very well that when you consume this particular thing, it will cause this particular person to stumble then you should stop it. Praise the name of the Lord. It means that now you have the right oil with you. When you are going to stop something just because of a saint, for the saint to, to, to go to the kingdom of God, or for somebody to see 
uh, the kingdom of God had come in, then we say that now you have the oil that produces the light of love. Praise the Lord. But if you don't realize there is something like of the sort which should take place, then you, don't, you do not have any sort of that, that kind of oil. Amen. Because what wana kuja, wana wengine wana tamani kuingia, lakini wewe, anasema, maisha yako ni maisha ya? Maisha yako, mwenye mikuja katika ufalme sawa. Ama mwenye mesaidika sawa. Mwenye ajatisaidika, kila mtu na mungu wa? Mungu wake. Then you lack that particular oil. Praise the name of the Lord. The oil that produces the light of love. And that is missing in a lot of people. There is no love amongst brethren. There is no love in the family. There is no love in the community. There is no love even in the nation. You know, people are just becoming selfish day by day. I just want to do things which are benefiting me alone. Anything that will come to the rest, I don't bother. Now what to say to me, I don't care. In as much as that my life is okay, I am good to go. You know, there is no love. Praise the name of the Lord. There is no love. Or you do something uh, in the delayance that uh, Hata ukienda kukua nini, eh, eh, mtu waki, aki, akijaribu kuwei the way you did that thing, anapata for real, ijapo kuwa imefanyo, but it was not done out of love. Praise the name of the Lord. Love pushes you to do things that even you, you are not willing to do. But out of love, because you love these people strongly, amen, you will be able to help them through. You will be able to bring them through. Praise the name of the Lord. And I was speaking to myself the other day. Uh, and uh, that, that's the reason why when, when doctor said that we come with the, with the people on Sunday, actually I did not have a person. I only came to preach to myself in the night. Now, being that I have some, some influence, I can pick up two sims, Kwamba, and I see Mulizi, Kwamba, Tafadali Kuja, Kadisani, and Mabia, Kesho, Kuja, Kadisani, and Dio, fair. I could not get to Yaku, Kuliza, Apple. So I was asking myself, so we were told to write the names of the people whom we want to get saved. Now, from Sunday to right now on Saturday night, it means that I don't love these people. I to love So, I Praise the name of the Lord. So, I have to love So, an option. Praise the name of the Lord. So, what was pushing me there and right now, there then, was love. So, I was saying it to my, into, my, into my heart. Do I really love these people? Yes, they are not in the kingdom. And as I'm saying that they are supposed to be in the kingdom when? And the opportunities are always there. Praise the name of the Lord. Lazima tuakishe kwamba tukona mafuta inayotawa mwangaza ya upendo. Ile watu wenye wako inje wanakuja katika bwana kwa sababu wameona upendo yenye sisi kanisa tukonazo. Amen. And that's the reason whenever we go to the evangelist out there, unapata kwamba, come to the Lord for his love endures. Come to the Lord because the Lord loves you. So we normally sell the love of God to the people. Amen. We tell them, come to God because God loves you. When you come to him, he will do A, B, C, D to you. And of, of, of course, he normally does. He do. He does the things. Praise the name of the Lord. He does all those things. Because out of his abounding love, ye ana ubaguzi, atakuja kisha kwamba, ni so and so umekuja, anakufanya chenye imekuleta. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Because umeskiza uito. So we must as a church, 
Whenever, when we want to embrace the, 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 the love, and we embrace one another, lazima tujiulize katika maisha yetu tukona ile mafuta ya upendo. Amen. Katika nyumba yenye tunaishi kwa jamii yetu, uko na mafuta ya upendo yenye watu watakuja waseme kwamba eh waje ukiwa kama jamii yako iko na mafuta ya upendo utaona kila mtu anataka kukuja kwako lakini ukigundua kwamba watu hawataki kukuja kwa nyumba yako you lack that oil that produces the light of love praise the name of the lord na kuna kuna, kuna families mingi zenye utapata watu mtu akuje tu afike kwa mlango pale hiyo ni hiyo ni maajabu Yaani amekuja hata mpaka atauliza uliingia kwa hiyo boma hiyo boma sijawahi yeah. there is a there is a day i went to, uh, to uh, kwa boma nyingine huko kwetu it happened that they came from uh, town sisi tulikuwa watu wa shago so i normally think to pretend to believe that that was the reason why they did not want to open the door for me so nikaenda nikatumwa so nikafika kwa mlango nikasikia uh, one of the sons asked uh, nani huyo nikasema ni mimi So badala ya kuja nifungulie mlango anakuja kwa, kwa dirisha alafu anauliza unataka nini you know <laughs> what do you want enda useme hivi a b c d and that was nini so in that particular home hakuna kwa village yote watu walikuwa wanajua kwamba kwa hiyo boma hakuna mwenye naendanga na ukienda lazima kuwa wewe uko karibu sana na watu So it is a home that lacked that oil of love what our pendi watu Amen. Na did you know that wakati wa upendi watu unaweza dhani kwamba wewe ndio unaendelea vizuri kumbe wewe ndio unaendeleanga vibaya. So wakati utakuja kugundua kuanza kupenda watu watu wamekuacha. Praise the name of the Lord. Utapata kwamba watu wamekuacha na wewe unadhani kwamba wewe ndio unaendeleanga vizuri. I don't want to uh, to uh, to work together with the abcd or uh, so and so you know other day unapata kwamba watu wanakuacha kitambo au watu walipokuwa nagondoa kwamba they were supposed to work together with the villagers like us the time was gone amen mpaka sasa hii wako tu wako tu nyumbani tu amen mashao ilikuwa imeenda ikanini wajua ilisemekana kwamba jogo wa jogo wa wajiji aezi vika mjini amen na nikakuja kugundua kwamba hata jogo wa mjini ni ngumu sana kuweka kijijini amen so tukawa kwamba yeye aezi songa na maisha sisi tuko na tunajua mbi jinsi ya tunaweza enda vichochoro vichochoro tu, tu, tufanye maisha yako zikue, zikue sawa lakini yeye anajua ya kwamba hapa yeye baada anakula tu zile pesa zake zenye alitoka nayo wanatoka walitoka nayo nyumbani i mean uh, town e, tunaona wanaamka asubuhi wajua ushago kwetu unaendaka shamba kwanza ndio unakuja unakunywa chai amen resort Nairobi hapa ndio niligundua unakunywa kwanza ndio unaenda kufanya kazi amen so wao wakakuja wanakula kwanza ndio waenda wamekuja na hiyo maisha ya, ush, ya, nyum, ya town you know wanakunywa chai wakati sisi tumechoka kwa shamba around saa 5 hivi watu tunataka kurudi nyumbani ndi tunaona wamebeba jembe wanapita wanaenda kwa shamba saa 5 you know and uh, by saa 8 they were so hata shamba zao hazikuwa zinafanya kitu so then they walikuwa wamegunda wamepata kwamba maisha yao haiendelee vizuri na hivyo ndio walienda wakaanza fresh right now hata wao ndi wanamka saa moja kufanya hata zero praise the name of the lord the oil that produces the light of love that was I'm still I'm talking about amen love people from your heart don't love people because there is a, it is a command love people out of your heart because it's something that has come from god hallelujah when you love people people will love you back praise the name of the lord Whenever you hate people they will hate you the same same way. Amen. So as children of God, what are, what are we supposed to do? We must have that particular oil that produces the kila mtu akiona there is love there. Eh? 
the, pale kuna na unapata kwa mtu anaendanga tu mahali penye nani ah hapa hapa nimekaribishwa eh, na kuna wale wenye wako sensitive na kuja unaangalia hata vile umemkaribisha ume mara ya kwanza najua tu hapa hata next time ndicho tukataka ta kukunywa chai ni ngumu sana especially mimi nikikutembelea mimi eh, najua najua the eyes the nini eh, si unakuwa eh, eh, sensitive amen si kwamba ukiingia karibu umeenda ukakalia kiti cha mzee <laughs> sasa unapata kwa sababu zingine hata kama wanakupenda yenyewe unawakalia umekatilia wajua i don't know kama inafanyika all over but in Luland there is always a specific seat for the man of the house and the woman of the house the wife of the house kama ukiingia hata kama hizo peke yake ndio ziko wewe si mama au pewi <laughs> praise the lord au pewi na ukipatikana umekalia imejulikana wewe ni kama umetoka dunia ingine praise the name of the lord but wale wenye wanapenda i don't like that when, the, when you love somebody so much utamvutia hiyo you know utamwapate kwamba sasa wewe kunywa na yeye i like the way Duncan was telling me the other day that now watakunywa na yeye nikamwambia wewe waachana na yeye there is out of love amen so na vile alikuwa amefanya na ilifanyika namna hiyo tu vile alikuwa ananiambia ilifanyika namna hiyo tu because it was done out of love Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Ukiwa unapenda mtu ile hata kikombe yako nyewe unatumia kusema eh mpatie kwanza mgeni. Amen. Love covers a multitude of sins. So whenever you have that particular love or oil that produces the light of love, unapata kwamba a lot of things you will see but you will not mention. How you will not talk about somebody you will not talk, because you cover ukisikia mtu amefanya kitu kingine utasema ah It's okay. This is also a human being, you know. You love that particular person. Amen. Sio kwamba every other time, eh, ndio hii ndio hii ndio hii. And then they don't but kwamba amen. Mtu ameumia. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh. My time is gone and let me just finish with the last one there. Eh. That uh, we should always have the oil that produces the light of a lightness. The Bible says that the time uh, of the coming of the lord is not known just like these young ladies did not know the time that the bridegroom would, would come then they had to have the oil of alertness praise the name of the lord the oil that produces the, the light that produces a light alertness lazima ukwe aware amen watu eh uh, uh, ama the bridegroom anapokuja akupate kuwa alert when jesus will come we need to be found when we are alert when we are not alert the enemy will take over in our lives but when we are alert then the enemy is not able to take any chance in our lives praise the mighty name of the lord so even when we are we continue waiting on jesus christ let us uh, check on those particular Uh, types of oils that we put in our lives because the manifestation of the light the, the oil is what is going to help us live smoothly on earth here praise the name of the lord and we have mentioned them some of them are like patience the, the oil of patience the oil of love you know and any other th- some of them have not even mentioned but whenever when we do such kind of things i know the lord is going to uh, bless us even as we, as we continue waiting on them in Jesus name amen so without wasting time i just want us to to stop there even as we pray our last prayer let us stand on our feet even as we pray the last prayer on the on the same in the mighty name of the lord lazima tujue ya kwamba aina za mafuta zenye tumeweka katika mashi yetu ni mafuta aina gani Mafuta inasaidia wenzetu, mafuta inatusaidia sisi wenyewe binafsi, wenzetu mafuta yenye inatupatia subira ama namna gani? Na pale Bwana atatusaidia. 
Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa wema na fadhili zako ambazo zinadumu milele na hata milele. Asante kwa ili ya neno lako ambayo Bwana tu umetuwezesha hata tukai etu, tukaiweza kuisoma Bwana ika tukaweza kui, kuishare Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunakushukuru ni kwa maana everything that you planned for the same oh God. We pray that we may follow your word and accomplish your purpose on it King of glory in our lives oh God. In the name of the Lord. I want to thank you because of each and every one of your master who has come in your house King of glory because this word is not going to leave their lives the same again in the name of the Lord. I want to thank you because of those people who never attended of your master because we are going to speak through them to, to them you are God Almighty through your spirit in the mighty name of the Lord. Those who are seeing us watching online your King of glory the same may they, they uh, may happen to them in the name of the Lord. We are here to bless you and we are here to worship you. We give the glory your master. We pray your master for the servant of God who is still away your king of glory. That we are going your master to continue protecting him your master until he comes over in the name of the Lord. We are here to bless and to honor you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do we pray trusting and believing and somebody say hallelujah. Amen.